I'm back to tell you about another implausible reptile, and today it's the Fearndrake or Fearn Dragon. This heavily built polar species is definitely large enough to be formidable, stretching a lengthy 12 or 13 meters from nose tip to tail tip, with a wingspan of 15 meters. While not a drake in the modern sense of the word, as it has a pair of wings, this dragon is named for the type of melted and recrystallized snow that is its preferred habitat. The Fearn Drake neither hibernates nor migrates, and as such is equipped with several helpful adaptations that allow it to survive in such an inhospitable environment. Like most species of draconids, Fearn Drakes are endothermic and capable of producing their own body heat. However, this species takes a few extra steps to help them to hold on to that warmth, possessing a layer of blubber underneath its scales much like a seal or whale. Speaking of scales, while draconids of the European line do not possess true fur or feathers, the Fearndrake's scales are large and flexible with fibrous edges that split into numerous keratinous quills, which help trap heat and are often mistaken for hair. The markings on its face that look a bit like runny mascara are actually there to redirect bright polar sunlight away from the eyes. It also has a relatively fast metabolism for a dragon, which, while producing more heat, also requires it to eat almost every day. Luckily, in a habitat where food can be difficult to come by, the Fearndrake is a very effective hunter. A large paddle tail, solid bones, and webbed feet make this dragon semi-aquatic, fulfilling a similar niche to a polar bear, and allowing it to prey upon a wide variety of species, including seals, porpoises, fish, reindeer, seabirds, and on occasion the aforementioned polar bears. Its teeth secrete a venom which, when delivered into the bloodstream via bite wound, is capable of rapidly slowing and, in smaller prey, sometimes even halting the prey's metabolic processes, causing it to die of hypothermia or eventual organ failure. This species is an ambush hunter, and will lie in wait before rushing forward to inflict a wound, and then will often track the envenomed prey over the course of many hours, waiting for it to succumb to cold and exhaustion. People who have been bitten and live to tell the tale describe the venom as making them feel very warm and sleepy. Once it has sufficient food, the Fearndrake will gorge itself, eating up to half its body weight before dragging any excess meat into its burrow. The burrows of Fearndrakes are extensive, and are excavated out of extremely hard fearn snow using the long yellow talons on each front foot. Fearndrake burrows usually include a sleeping room, a pantry room for storing food, and a room which may be used to store objects of interest. Burrows also normally have a surface entrance and a sea entrance, both of which are attached by long tunnels. The distinctive talons never stop growing and are worn down by wear and tear while digging. The species walks on its knuckles with the impressive claws folded upward so that they do not impede its movement. Unusually for dragons, Fearndrakes mate for life, but will only actually reproduce very rarely when they have enough extra food stored away. The pair will take turns incubating their single egg for six months, and then will care for the hatchling until they mate again. Adult Fearndrakes only have a few natural predators, which include larger dragon species, wargs, orcas, and occasionally polar bears. However, they have a long adolescence during which they are vulnerable to a wider range of threats. Parents of this species can be extremely aggressive to anything they see as a threat to their baby, and may use their claws defensively if necessary. This species will eat humans and has been linked to the deaths of several groups of kayakers and researchers. It is generally advised to avoid their territory if possible, especially if they are known to be nesting. Fearn drakes are somewhat poor flyers due to their weight and normally do not pursue by air, so it is possible to evade them via vehicle. However, there are a few other strategies that can be used to prevent predation, one of which is to play recordings of orcas vocalizing over speakers. Fearn drakes are frightened of orcas and will vacate the area if they hear them. One wildlife photographer also recounts the tale of an encounter with a Fearndrake, in which it did not eat her, but promptly stole her camera and flew away. They seem to be a hoarding species, and can sometimes be given interesting or shiny objects as a distraction.